So this is a painting I'm working on at the moment. This is the image, my reference image. It's sideways on because it fits the camera better, really. And then up here we have got, I've transferred the image, I've gone onto paper and I've masked most of it. If I look in closer there, you can see the masking is there. Now I've still got quite a few lines left to do before that's finished. So I thought I'd show you how I apply the masking fluid. Right, so I've got my masking fluid here which is uh, counted out. I can't quite get it far enough away from the camera in this angle. And then I'll be using this tool here, my ruling pen. It's a bit gunked up. It always gets a bit gunked up before I start. So I just clear that off like that. Comes off really easily. Not a problem at all. And then I am going to use my curved ruler. So I line up the ruler like that to get the lines. And I always use it upside down so that there's a little bit of gap between the line I'm working on and where I apply the masking fluid. And then I dip the masking fluid. This is actually gone a bit, bit thick. Oh, I had to do this with the camera in the way. It's not so good. So let's try it, that one there. Can you see it going on? I'm not sure you can. Let's try one a little bit further over. doesn't really matter where I work it. Yeah, my masking fluid's a little bit thick, so it's not flowing quite as well as I would like. It's quite warm today, so everything's drying up faster than I would like it to. So there you go. And you basically use it like you would a dip pen. And it works really well. I tend to go over the lines a few times because the, you get spotty bits where it's not quite created a nice smooth line. And I've got a bit there. I'm not going to do all of this because uh, it, it would take too long to, and it would be quite tedious and it's not that easy to see. I think it's nice just to know what the process is. That's completely off camera. Shall I try a bit that's on camera or shall I move to somewhere? Let's, let's move to somewhere. Let's move over here a bit. Right, can you see that better? Okay, so I'm going to work there now. I normally do this far more systematically, but I'm trying to just make sure you've got something you can see on the camera. And again, so so I'll take the camera off in a minute and just show you where I've done. And you can see, you should be able to see the light on it. Let's go there a bit. It's quite satisfying. Oh, I find it's quite satisfying. Some people just hate this bit. Masking fluid is an acquired taste and you have to practice with it a little bit. And uh, you have to accept that sometimes it doesn't go quite as you want it to. But that's fine. That's part of the character of the piece. So we don't complain too much about that because that's just one of those happy accidents. And sometimes they work really well. And now it's drying off a bit. So what I do then, where are we? There we go. So what I do then is I just peel it off. And it happens quite a lot when I'm using masking fluid. I'm forever picking off bits and got bits on stuck on my fingers like that. That's just normal. And uh, goes on the floor and gets vacuumed up later. It does look a bit revolting, I have to admit. The other thing I do have to do quite a lot is you can see, hopefully in the light, there's bits of masking fluid on there now and I'm getting a rough edge. So, so I get a nice clean edge. I, I often spend time wiping it so that that doesn't happen. Now, what have we not done around here? It's hard to see what I've done, what I've not done without getting the light at the right angle. Dipping again. So there you go. Yeah. I'm forever ducking my head round from side to side just so I can. Am I off the screen again? I'm off the screen again. So let's try not. Let's try and let's try and keep it where you can see it, shall we? Right, just a couple more here, and then we'll stop. And the next bit. Next time we see this, I'll be ready to paint it. Okay. So that's my masking done. And then let's get that off. I'm just going to pause. So here we go. Now you can see where I've done because it's shining. It is quite hard to see masking fluid, but there you get the idea. You see if I turn the camera around, how the light catches the masking fluid. So you can see where I've done and where I have done. So that's what I mean about constantly having to mess around with angles to actually see what I'm doing. So you can hardly tell other than the yellowishness of the lines. Right, now for the painting.
Entonces, pues se imponía que no partía. Sí.